Hey folks, we're going to do a little live style today to get some perspective on where the information in these news is coming from. And we also have some amazing news articles today. So let's start over at spaceweathernews.com. We're coming down and looking at 193 angstroms and we see why it is the best way to watch the sun. Active regions look bright, coronal holes look dark, plasma filaments appear as thin off-color ropes in the corona. Our star has been utterly silent as we come to the solar flare charts. X-ray emission remains flatlined. But we do have reason to watch in the solar wind. The telemetry is indicative of a phi angle shift preceding the coronal hole stream that we are expecting to impact Earth tonight or tomorrow. The blue tells us the magnetism or polarity of the electric field is reversing as the solar sectors turn. We took one big earthquake yesterday, but it was actually a blot echo at more than 160 kilometers deep, eyes open for the north-south transmigration at the crust. Pretty cool animations out from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, simulating small mass galaxy formation, and trying to parse out why so many observations don't match what their models are supposed to show. Despite that drawback, their animation chops are pretty solid, aren't they? This would be like you were out in the disk and watched the collapse trigger, and let's say you're not a star yet or a planet yet, but you're pulling it all together. Something like this could reduce what material you have to work with and might indeed explain why we're not seeing nearly the number of stars they expected. The birth of the system itself precluded them. Somewhat less cool and vastly less interesting, although we'll admit it does look aesthetically amazing, just like it did in 2015, 2013, 2012, and the predecessor experiments in the 90s. Only the dark portion here is making its way around the net. With the first portion of the video cut out, a shot with lights on in a micro experiment inside the ISS, this is cut out because the current claim is that the ISS is shooting plasma out into space. Well, even if the FLEX experiment was new and not more than 20 years old, the ISS is one of the brightest and easiest things to spot up there in the night sky. Anything they did like that, the whole world would see it. A little common sense, folks. And start with this. When you find a scary video like this and there are no links, no sources, no papers, or anything you can use to verify on your own, it's a fraud. Let's keep it going at windy.com, and we're eyeing a low-pressure cell near the lakes, its convergence curling down to northern Texas, and then another low, the re-emergent system that danced across Mexico. Now, watch how they hold and control the water as I pull the precipitation overlay. Time stamps are at the bottom of the screen. Tools and overlays are on the right side. I have cut them off a bit there. Lows always suck into the center, but they spin the opposite way in the north versus southern hemisphere. Eyeing one system here on Perth's doorstep with reach further along the coasts as well. Let's quickly look at earth.nullschool.net's default page. All your tools are found by clicking the Earth button. In our valuable info playlist, there is a full explanation video for this tool, but you don't really need it. Just go have fun. We'll do this all again tomorrow. We'll close here by looking once more at the last 24 hours on our star. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.